So how do you use textures? How do you decide which texture you want to use? How do you decide if it's a good texture or a bad texture? In this video, we're going to talk about that. And by the end of this video, hopefully you have a good understanding of when to use which kind of texture and to put the best texture you can in your game, because textures are really important. Textures and materials pretty much are 70% of the visual quality of your game. So it's important to get the right texture and the wrong texture probably will feel very bad and the right texture will feel like it's just made for your environment. So I'm going to talk about this project a little bit because it's a, it's a project that has a lot of interesting details here. If you check this area, like the textures here, you have the brick, you have uh, like the mud and a lot of things and everything just feels like it blends very nicely. So choosing your textures is very, very important. And it's just a matter of trying out. But I also have a lot of, there is also a lot of foundation behind it. So let's talk about what you need to change first in your mindset when looking at texture. So when looking at textures, don't think, uh, don't, don't use your brain for this. Don't use your logic, logic here, no logic by that. I mean, when you see, oh, I want to put a brick, I want to put a cobblestone, I want to put a I want to put mud. I want to put a, a plaster. Uh, all these names in your head, they already come with a lot of logic. And you may think like, oh, for blending this one, I need a brick. I need plaster and a little bit of moss. And I will blend these three together. And you will find like, oh, maybe I'm, I'm having the brick, the plaster and the moss, but it just doesn't look right. What is it? You need to stop using your logic and see these as patterns. In painting, in traditional painting, it, everything is a pattern. Everything is a design. Everything is a design here, a 2D shape projected into a 3D world. Even this, you can treat it as a painting. So if you see patterns here, how do you decide which pattern to use? I'm going to go here and show you. This is Pure Ref, it's a really cool software. If you haven't downloaded it, it's free. Um, basically, it allows you to put your textures here or images, whatever. And you will see that I have three different textures here. The first one is a very recognizable pattern. Like if I draw here, I can even continue the texture here. Like maybe that's, uh, that's my next brick here. This is pretty much how it's going to be, right? Uh, like, and I can continue this. I, this is predictable, right? This is a pattern that has a lot of order. When it comes to this, the pattern is not only hard to recognize. It's like, maybe it's like this, but maybe it's not. Maybe this shape is like this but maybe it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's, it's very hard to predict. So this seems to be a more chaotic texture a little bit, but there's still a pattern here. And the pattern is like you have like different types of shapes that are not square, but you can kind of predict that you're not going to have something weird going on here, right? So when it comes to the pattern here, the pattern is squares. Square, 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 square. So actually, if you want to make your textures a little bit more interesting, you just need to put different patterns on it. So let's say this is your texture and you're having your bricks here. And maybe you also have your bricks here and then you need to break it into like maybe some cobblestones here and maybe some bricks that you, you can combine those two to make your, your textures more, more interesting here. Like it's, it's just going to be much more interesting than just a single pattern. So combining patterns is the way to go. Now you may think like this doesn't have a pattern and 
Indeed, it's very hard to spot, right? But in reality, if you put a texture and it tiles in Unreal, you will see the texture tiling. So technically, you can spot all the patterns uh, no matter which texture you use. This is a rock texture. So obviously, this pattern, it's, it's not recognizable. I cannot predict what's going here. Um, this is very good when it comes to add a little bit of chaos to your thing, a little bit of nature, a little bit of... This is very man-made element, right? And this is like pure nature. Like nature usually tends to do a lot of crazy things. Things made by humans are tend to be more organized and in order. So what do you do with this? Well, how about this texture? You know how... Why... Why this texture looks more interesting than this tree alone is because it has everything. It has a little bit of patterns, but also has other areas that are different, like the plaster here. You have the brick here, you have the plaster in this area, and you, you not only that, look at the shapes of the bricks. The bricks not only are like this size, they also a little bit smaller. A little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, normal size. It's much more interesting to see these kind of shapes that are irregular into your environment. So let's go back to our scene in Unreal. So what we have here, it's basically three different patterns. And it's easy to spot on when I change the lighting. But you will see that I have a very organized pattern here. This is my brick texture. I don't know if you can see it here. Very organized, very man-made. And then I add a little bit of chaos with another pattern here that is mud bricks, but are they are like, you know, very regular. You cannot spot them out. And then I add another thing on top, which is this plaster. This plaster here. So three, two, and one. These are my three textures. I have a very organized texture, and then I tone it down to something like, not kind of organized, kind of man-made, but still very irregular. And then I put a plaster on top. So when you combine these, uh, you can take a look at this. It... It is so much more interesting to see these shapes here, like this mud brick, which is kind of like not very organized. And then you have this brick here, very organized. And then you have this plaster texture that is not organized. And think think about the patterns. Like the patterns for this will be like, like this, like you always see. The pattern for this will be a little bit more chaotic, something like this. And the pattern for this is just... Like, you know, whatever. You cannot spot it. It's just a plaster here. And when you combine this tree into a single uh, model, uh, this is where things start to become, to look good. So, because what is looking good? It, it's a term that is very subjective. It's a term that I struggle a lot in my early years in my career, where it's like, what is a good picture? Right. And a lot of these concepts you will see here that I am playing are not necessarily from from Unreal. They, they just painting concepts. Uh, you take a look at these this detail here. It just has so much interesting shapes. You have the brick that I show you, the cobblestone that I show you, and the plaster that I show you and combine these, these three into different patches where you can just put them in. I'm going to show you the picture that I had before. Notice that in this single texture, you have this in this area. You have these in this area. You have these in this area. You can put it into different chunks, if you will, like to have like a very big patches like from different types of uh, patterns now the question is 
And this is a very important one. How do you decide how much to put on each one of them? Now, my first answer is go with the gut. If you feel it looks good, probably it is. For me, I tend to go for like a 70, 30% rule. I don't usually, so for example, you have a texture like this, and this is your pattern. 50% of it is like this, and 50% of this is like this. That to me is not very interesting. However, if I put something like this, this is my pattern. And then I, I put something like this, like 70% is chaos, 30% is order. You can put that 30, uh, like 70, 30 rule, 30, 30, 70, however you want to call it, uh, into everything. Like you can see that most of it is kind of like organized, but I have patches of plaster here. Uh, same here. Uh, you will see that I have areas where I have a lot of order and then I break it down. Nothing is 50-50. Everything is so irregular that makes it so interesting to watch. And uh, this is the secret behind choosing your textures and choosing which texture you want to you wanna use in your environment. The same thing I did here. Same thing. This one. Rock. A small cobblestone, a big cobblestone. That's it. And with that, you combine this tree and you have an interesting surface that is flat a little bit, but in some areas just have a lot of a lot of detail here. And in some areas, it has very small detail. Even if the, if, if the it's this is the same texture as this one. But this one is just styling two times, so it's smaller and it automatically gives you like a different shape because this one is big, this one is small, and this part is flat. So you can apply this concept to whatever is it that you, you want to use. Uh, and hopefully this video has been helpful. If you want to learn more from us, take a look at the links below. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.